In the postseason, how does the atmosphere as an opposing player affect you, if at all, at the plate? Uh, you know what, I think when you're at the plate, you're pretty well locked into what it is you're trying to do and what you're trying to accomplish. Um, you know, having having a home field advantage, playing at home in front of an electric crowd like the one that's here, like the one in San Francisco, um, can only help to your benefit. But, you know, I think especially with as many people here, you don't hear individual anything. It's just a it's just a roar of, 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 of a crowd. And, uh, you know, you're, you're pretty locked in into what you're trying to accomplish and what, you know, your plan is in the moment. And it's all about staying in the moment. You pitched in Philadelphia in the playoffs for a number of years now. How can the atmosphere at Citizens Bank Park, as a closer, how can that help you? And conversely, as the opposing closer, how could that, you know, be a challenge? Well, I think the biggest thing, you know, we're kind of taught to, to block out the fans, um, and that's certainly something that you do on the road. Um, although I can imagine that in Philadelphia, it's, it's as tough as anywhere there is in baseball. Um, and so that's something that uh, at Citizens Bank, I've seen a lot of closers come in and, and uh, you know, you want to use the word crumble, but they've had a really difficult time. Guys start getting on base, it's like the, the fans start closing in on them and getting really close. Um, experience definitely helps in that situation. The longer you've pitched, the more you can block that out. I think it's easier. As a home pitcher, it goes a long ways. I kind of let, let it in a little bit. Uh, it fires me up, and um, you have to be careful not to have too much adrenaline and uh, you know do something out of your normal game. But I think it's, I think it's a definite advantage um, uh, for, for guys that are inexperienced. Obviously, Brian Wilson's not inexperienced per se. Um, just being his first postseason, I, you know, he's still pitched a lot of good years, so he knows what he's doing. Um, but hopefully, our fans will be an advantage like they seem they seem to be every single year. So, and every single series. So, hopefully, that will continue. Closing on the road in front of a hostile environment. What, what, how does that make it different than pitching at home when you're closing? Well, we're still going to have the same number of fans. They're still they're still going to be screaming. Um, I can't really. I don't focus on what anyone's saying. I'm pretty much locked in. Um, I know it's, it's a lot of people would say, no, you have to hear the fans. But honestly, when you run into the game and you, and you do it over and over and over, you're, you're just locked in against the hitter. And there's no time to think about what the crowd's saying or what they're doing. Obviously, the positive energy at home, I mean, you know when they're standing up, clapping with two strikes, as opposed to when you're running in the field and everyone's booing. But that's, that's what we signed up for. And and I feed off negative energy and positive energy from the crowd. You mentioned uh, the playoff atmosphere at Citizens Bank Park. As a starting pitcher, how can that help you? And conversely, for the opposing pitcher, how can that pose a challenge to them at all? Um, I think the crowd, they get in, you know, the crowd gets into it, puts a little more pressure on the pitcher, especially in a big part of the game. Um, get a guy on second, third, uh, one out or no outs. Um, normal situation kind of puts your way out of it, the crowd gets into it, you start trying to make that perfect pitch. Usually when you do that, you leave the ball on the plate. And some teams don't enjoy coming into Philadelphia because it's loud, because it can be abusive at times, which I think gives us as a home team an advantage. And, you know, we, can take any, we would like to take any advantage we can at this point because we might need that to win a game.